safety to the ship. Made into the start. Right away, Houston. The Jet Propulsion Laboratory, or as most people know it, JPL, is a NASA Federal Research Center. Um, so what we do is we actually, our prime directive is to search outer space. So we look at Mars, we look at um, Europa, we look at, we're trying to get to Pluto. So we're trying to basically find and discover what's on other planets. What I'm working on is to allow rovers to travel long distances on the surface of Mars. The way the Sojourner worked is that when it came up to a rock during navigation, it would come up to a rock, it'd look at it, and it'd go left or right. Very, very simple logic. So we want to do it a little bit more intelligently. We want to be able to say, you know, you see that mountain way over in the distance? I want you to go over there, get to it by the time I go to sleep and wake up, and, you know, beat me when you get there. So how can we do that? We have to have the robot think intelligently and be able to navigate by themselves alone on Mars. We use a process called fuzzy logic. And what fuzzy logic is, is a way that we take words and equate them mathematically so that the robot can understand them. So just like we circumnavigate around basically clutter of rocks, we can enable the robot to basically look at the train and decide, oh, that area is a little bit cluttered. Maybe I shouldn't go there. Maybe I'll get stuck. Maybe it's a little bit too difficult. Then we just go around it. Right now we have six cameras on the rover. Um, and what, what we're doing is we're actually trying to look at areas of the terrain. Um, eventually we will have basically a panoramic, so basically you'll see 360 degrees around you and you can actually see the whole terrain. Me as a technologist, I come up with algorithms and I test it on my little pioneer platform. But what I do then is take the software and actually <laughs> code up my software on these basically FIDO or Rocky 8 platforms. Um, what FIDO and Rocky 7 or Rocky 8 are, they are basically prototypes, um, models of what the real flight robotic vehicle looks like. One just happens to be a technology platform, which basically means I'm allowed to touch it and put my software on it and test it and see does our algorithm work? Can we actually do navigation as we've tested on this prototype vehicle and actually use it on basically a comparable flight vehicle? The way I got into math and science was one Christmas, so I was about eight or nine, um, I got two gifts. One was um, Barbie doll and the other gift was a Radio Shack kit for a radio. So I was very interested so I actually took the Radio Shack kit and built it and I actually had to learn how to solder and put together wires and I actually built my radio kit. So I got interested in math and science at a very early age. But what I actually wanted to do is I wanted to build robot arms and robot legs for people. And then what happened was I found out you had to go to medical school and I hated biology. And I found out, well, there's a field called robotics, just robotics. And you can actually build a robot and you don't have to worry about the human aspect. So you can still do what you want to do. I mean, who else can say that, you know, I come to work and I actually can use a screwdriver and break things if I want or put things together um, and I get paid for it. I mean, I really like working with what I call them, I call them toys. I get paid to just think any way that I want, any way that I feel, um, see if it works. So I, I really like that, really love that about my job.